Hello guys, let's continue retrosynthesis course and we will start from disconnection of alcohols. If you haven't my pre watched previous videos, don't feel guilty about that. You can continue with me from this video. Alright, without wasting much time, this is a molecule you will be given in any exome, for example. So, this is a cyclohexene with double bond in it. Alright, a CH2 unit. And OH, right? So this is alcohol, as you see, there's a OH group in it. So the retrosynthesis of this would be put the retrosynthetic arrow, and what you need to do is to write FGI. FGI stands for functional group interconversion. If you don't know that. So what we do in this strategy, we convert one functional group into another one. So for example, you need to remember in, in your mind that alcohols can be prepared from aldehyde. So one way to convert uh, this functional group will be to convert this into aldehyde. And aldehydes are carbonyl compounds. So I need to put the carbonyl group and one hydrogen right. <coughs> So this is FGI and the second step you can go further into simplest starting materials and the next step is do the diels alder reaction. So that's called retro diels alder right that's it. In re retro diels alder you need to have two parts one is diene, diene means alkene having two double Bonds, right? So tie in and remove this double bond. All right. So this is tie in having two double bonds. That's why we call it tie in and a tie in and in also. So two counterparts when are react together, they will give you the product. All right. So this is in CHO I can write for aldehyde simply all right quick recap in few seconds so you start from this molecule which contains a ring and a OH group you do functional group interconversion you convert this OH group into aldehyde group this one and then you rupture this ring apart open it up into two components these two via diels the reaction they will be synthesized so the synthesis will be quite simple what you need to do you mix these two reagents they will give you this one and when you reduce aldehyde by using any reducing agent like sodium borohydride and ABH4 it will give you the desired alcohol that's it and don't forget not to not use strong reducing agent they can probably reduce the double bond so use a mild reducing agent such as sodium borohydride okay okay cool i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to put your comments below in this video and please subscribe like share our channel and press the bell icon forget about it